Previously on Drake Paragon. In the Great Salt Pond. The place where I got over my fear of sailing in the dinghy. The chain piles up in a little mountain underneath. I am so pleased with this rock my anchor. I want you to learn how to use a chart potter. Why can't I use autopilot? Because you need to know how to do it by yourself without the autopilot. Mo has put us on a beam reach. You can go ahead and have your head injury. Wow, look at this. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Security call, auto carrier 17 highways outbound at Castle Openings were probably for cannons. All mooring balls. I'm always nervous about anchoring. We've got enough open space all around us to be safe and secure for the night. And the sunset is really beautiful. It's like an impressionist painting out there. It is. Well, we're gonna Whoa, drive. We're driving. Don't try. Morning. Today is Wednesday, March 1st at Anchor in Newport Harbor. I'm looking at that boat out there. The one right there. Yeah. That yesterday was all the way over there. And we haven't moved. We originally anchored over there between that Atkins and that boat. As we were circling around when we came in, the guy was like telling us where you could anchor, like, yeah, between there and there. But he's like, watch out, that other boat drags a little. Uh, and so we were over there, we anchored, we felt really great about where we were. We are kind of in between the, the two boats, and then we kind of looked over, and <laughs> that boat was like, Whoop, like right next to us. And so we pulled up anchor last night. You mean night. like a couple hours after we dropped anchor and yeah. thought we were secure for the night. And actually just before sunset. Yeah. And so we pulled up anchor and we moved quite a ways forward actually. Yeah. And so the Atkins was off of our port stern and that boat was way off of our starboard stern. And things looked good. And so we got up this morning and... So it's almost as if the boat is attracted to ours. I was thinking that. I'm like, hey, you want to be friends? <laughs> what are you doing? There's all this space over there, but that's like moving further and further away. So what does it matter? We got a sailing dinghy. Yeah, but it's nice to be kind of close and like there's people. Like, it's not so nice. I'm thinking about sailing way, way, way out there to the other side of the bridge. Mm. Then we'll have tons of swing room, we won't have to worry about anything. Why don't you just be a hermit and live on a cliff? Well, no, we got the sailing dinghy to get us into the into I like being here. <laughs> you haven't even seen what it's like in the other place. I sat in the other acreage for like two months and uh -huh. loved it and rode ashore every day and it was awesome. So do we chance it and just launch the dinghy and go have our day ashore? Or do we raise anchor, spend an additional like hour or two to get the boat to the other side of the harbor where I know we can anchor with no issues at all? What's what's the chances that that boat's going to drag on us? I mean, maybe she'll just drag on by, but she seems to, like, want to come towards us. You made a point of, like, not being directly in front of her. Like, we were definitely off to the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't seem to matter because she's right there. Yeah. Looks like maybe an Olsen 25 doesn't have an outboard, but no engine. Apparently does not have enough road out, doesn't yeah. have a strong enough anchor. And maybe it's on the other side, but I don't see the dinghy there today. Do you think she didn't come back last night? I don't know. Yeah, we met her. Yeah. She told us that she's been here for some years and saw Cha Cha. 
told us a story about how the harbor master went to great lengths to, what, take possession of the boat? Uh -huh. She said that because it was here during the winter when they were doing the Google Maps, you can actually see it on Google Maps. Wow. She also said that the anchor was stuck on something. They couldn't raise it out, so they put a buoy on the anchor. Mm -hmm. So I guess they must have cut the anchor chain, and left the anchor there, and then towed the boat. I think it would be interesting to go see her. Well, you know where she is. Yes, I have used my powers of deduction. Well, and if you find out where she is, maybe we can go see her. You can see the boat that I rammed. I was thinking the boat that you towed, but you know. Responsible for bringing us together. We never would have met each other had I not collided with that boat. Aww. We should go see it, just for that reason. Well, you know, I think it would actually be... You, me, and Cha-Cha in the photo would be great. <laughs> I think it would be good closure. Of it that way. It's interesting. We're going to take the sailing dinghy around in Newport Harbor because it's a beautiful windy day and another fantastic opportunity for Mo to practice sailing. I thought you were going to sail while I took pictures. Would you rather do that? Maybe. Yeah. I'm thinking that this is really a great opportunity for you to sharpen your sailing skills and that it would be really fun. How about you sail us to the dinghy dock and then I promise you a full day sail at some point later where you can take photos. At some point never happens. That's not true. What does that mean, at some point never happens? Mm -hmm. I have learned. Take the picture now. Go to the shop now. Check out the thing now. Learn how to sail now. Because... <laughs> <laughs> You're on a great roll right now, Mo. You shouldn't stop. You know, you just picked up the ability to attack and drive and navigate and dock and like if you just put it back down right now and don't pick it up again for a long time, you'll lose it. I think this is just a beautiful place to sail. I think fine. you're really gonna enjoy fine, it. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm curious. We were in Block Island. Yeah. The weather looked very nice. You know, calm conditions, nothing surprising. We were going about 20, maybe 30 miles. Yeah. But you didn't want to pull the dinghy. Why? I never tow the dinghy offshore because you never know what's going to happen. Even if you got a nice weather forecast, it's not inconceivable that something will happen weather-wise that will cause big problems because you're towing that dinghy. I really don't like that there's always then going to be this possibility that the painter is going to get in the propeller and ruin your day <laughs> in a big way. And you don't want to get like a, um, a floating line. 
No, I, d I just don't like it. You I feel just don't it's like dangerous. It. You know, something like some big bow could come by and cause all this wake and the conditions could be just perfect so that the dinghy gets swamped and then it's full of water and then it's a big drag on the boat and, you know, why not just put it on deck and then eliminate the possibility of anything going wrong in that department. God, what a beautiful day in Newport Harbor. Man, it's really nice. It's sunny and there's just a little breeze. I think it's a perfect day to go for a sail in the dinghy. We've decided not to raise anchor and re-anchor somewhere else to get further away from that boat because we think that with the winds forecast to be as light as they're going to be today, the boats probably won't get too close to each other. I've just noticed she's got two anchors out, not just one. Looks like she's got two anchors out apart from each other so that's why she swings so different. It's not because she's dragging anchor, it's because she's got two anchors out that are limiting her swing. Oh, I feel much better now. I think she might still be dragging. Hmm. Unless she has a ton of skull, but she was like way over there. She was way over there. She was way over there before, but... Like we were, okay, everyone was kind of facing that way last night. I think she's got a no, We were yeah. facing that way and yeah. they were there and she was like over there. I know, it's hard to tell. It's like, where are her anchors? I think we'll be fine. Let's hope we're gonna be fine. We're gonna put the throwing sailing dinghy in the water. We had a fire last night, so. And it was awesome. And it was awesome, but we'll put the chimney down. So you create a little bridle through knots and then raise it with the halyard? Well, uh, I just do bowlins and I've got the, the lines you know, to approximately the right length. It seems to work. Wow, the wind's really picking up a bit. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Big boat.
like that the boom is pretty high on this thingy. So you can sit here and not get whacked in the head by the boom. Mm -hmm. Like you did with the Walker Bay. Want me to pull you upside? Actually, why don't you disconnect the painter and I'll sail her up. Is confident? Oh. Try to come up on Paragon's port side, so get ready to hop aboard. I have to hand you the bags and stuff too. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And the pillow. All aboard. Take your time to watch the pillar. That we're going to be taking off on a starboard tack. Start off by letting the boat go almost forward in the orientation she's in right now, a little bit to port and a little bit off the wind as soon as I let go, right? So grab the tiller, get yourself situated. Get the sheet. And the tiller. And so I'm going to want to go that way. Yeah. All right, we're off. When I was sailing out here a minute ago, it was really calm and comfy. And then all of a sudden, I got a big puff that would have sent the boat over if I hadn't let the main sheet out and use the tiller to head up into the wind, so. So the wind is coming from there. Mm-hmm. What a beautiful day for a sail. She's beautiful. Oh, God. I love that Atkins design. Ready for jiving. Remember, center the tiller as soon as you're done with the jive. As soon as it goes over, center the tiller. Center. Good. Too, too much, too much. Yeah, center, center. That was excellent. You didn't capsize. Uh, no, I'm, that's, I mean, you, you did it good. Wow, look at that, two beautiful double-enders in the anchorage. That photo over there is not too shabby either. What do you mean? I'm not trying to freak you out. I'm scared. Well, no. <laughs> oh my God, center it! Well, yeah, it's very important. You have to center it. You have to do it immediately. When the boom goes over, if the tiller doesn't get centered immediately, we'll then the boat goes over. You don't want to capsize. I'm not trying to freak you out, I'm just letting you know. You're doing great! Wanna head up a bit and go more over there? Because you can go a little more close haul. Head up, head up means pull the sail in head the boat into the wind more, will heal a bit more, but may increase our speed. I am going to turn you into a sailing Olympian racer. <laughs> I am so glad that we got this sailing thing. What do you say when you jive though? Jive ho. You say jive ho when you're doing it, and, and then you say prepare to jive. Really? You gonna go to port? Or are you gonna? Port. You wanna jive? Why? Yes, I have to do. We're about to. <laughs> We're getting close to land. <laughs> yes. Jive. Ready. Jive pull. Okay. Let's try not to die. Center. And let the sail out. Remember, there's always this sort of like 
instinctive, autom automatic instinct to pull the sheet in more. And I saw you just do it. You were like, whoa, and you wanted to pull it in more. And and that's, you, uh, you need to do the opposite. I just didn't let it go. No. I just left it where it was. It looked to me like you were contemplating pulling it in more. Make sure you're ready to let the sail out and head the boat up into the wind. Boy, it'd be neat if we could go parallel right alongside the shoreline. Let the sail out and bear off. And bear off. Who's sailing here? Uh, you're sailing with my instruction. Can you let the sail out more? Well, we're gonna oh, try. Diving. Don't try. Yeah, that's not because the sail's going out, that's because you were turning. Are those more concrete falls for like big boats? For oh, big boats. Really big boats. I remember once in Bermuda, there was this huge storm that hit the anchorage and one of the boats dragged. And he's dragging through the anchorage and he didn't have a big enough anchor and the guy gets up on the bowsprit and his wife is at the helm and she's motoring against this like 60 knot squall into the wind. And it was at like two in the morning. It was pitch black off. They had their spreaders on. He's got a spotlight. They motor up to one of those moorings and he jumps off the bowsprit and is standing on the mooring in 60 knots of wind. He ties the line going from the bowsprit to <laughs> the mooring and he climbs back on the bowsprit and he's like 80 years old. No idea what? I had no idea you were anchored with Bernard Moutier. <laughs> Turn in that direction and let the sail. 
sail out? Or? Yes, absolutely. You're going to bear off, go to port, and let the sail out as you're turning. Turning too fast. Okay, you gotta keep going, make it nice and smooth. This feels very different, huh? Yeah. Than going upwind. This is like the power mode of sailing. You don't seem to like the power mode of sailing as much as the upwind mode, huh? Well, there's a rental, number 11. 40 bucks a night. If not more. Downtown Newport. Right over there is Bannister's Wharf, where they have a fuel dock and you can get water. Congratulations! Congratulations! Oh. Woo! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! Ow! Um, you should start rowing because we're getting pushed. Welcome to Newport. Thank you. It's like New, New England's version of Annapolis, in my mind. The landing restaurant in Tavern, you can yeah, it smells good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there somewhere we can tie up a dinghy here? Thank you! Oh, look over there. It's a Pearson Triton. She's oh, nice. a beautiful boat. Welcome to shore. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm sorry if I get a little um, I think with each anxious. time you go sailing, it's going to be more familiar. You're going to be more skilled and capable, and it's going to be more fun. And someday, I think you will really just thank me. It just did. No, I mean really. Oh, <laughs> like heartfelt? 